Hi loves, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel, This Mama Loves Disney. Okay, so in my last video, I shared some items that I picked up last weekend and uh, one thing that, one haul that I had hauled on Thursday. And um, here's part of my Hobby Lobby haul that I hauled uh, last Saturday. Um, after watching um, YouTube, I had saw something that was so, so tender-hearted to me. Um, so Mother's Day had um, was last weekend. Okay, so last, uh, I guess it was last either Friday or Saturday. I can't remember when I watched this particular video. But um, I was watching Armin's video. Hey, Armin! Um, who is Happy Mail Queen here on YouTube. And um, she did something that just... Um, it made my heart smile and it made my heart sad at the same time, okay? So, um, like Armin, who has, um, whose mother has, um, you know, went to heaven and mine too. Um, she did something that um, represented her mother. And um, it just, it was just so precious. Her mother uh, apparently loved to sew. So she had made... Um, something for herself and something for her mom, I mean, excuse me, something for herself and something for her sister to represent her mother. And, um, it was just so tender hearted to me. And, um, I shared with her that, you know, there's something that reminds me of my mom, which is dragonflies. Dragonflies always remind me of my mom. It was the craziest thing. Um, shortly after my mom passed away, dragonflies were just swarming. It could have been dragon dragonfly season. I don't know, but they were swarming. Okay everywhere and uh the crazy thing is is that my father you know has never traveled without my mom um except for when he was in vietnam i mean that's a different story okay my father does not like to travel uh so um he it was crazy for him to come to texas without my mom my dad lives in california um that's where i grew up was in california so um it was just so crazy um, so my father comes to visit for Easter and my brother lives here in, uh, the same area, one of my brothers. And so when my dad showed up, I'm telling you the honest to God truth. When my dad showed up, I kid you not, we have an overhang in our front, on our front porch and it's beautiful because we have like one of those gliders out in the front so you can sit on the front porch and everything. It's just a really, and we have arches and everything. It's beautiful, okay? So on the overhang underneath, I'm telling you, I mean, this is no lie, okay? There was a dragonfly with the wingspan about this big, guys, this big, okay? When my dad arrived, the dragonfly arrived. Okay. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. So my dad was here for a week. The dragonfly was here for a week. I'm sorry. I take that back. I take that back. Sorry. My dad was visiting us for a week. My dad was with me for, I think, four days. And then he ended up spending a couple of days with my, my, I think, three days with my brother. Okay. The time, the days that my father was here, the dragonfly was here. It did not move. It didn't go anywhere. It camped out underneath the overhang. I kid you not, guys. It was just, it was so amazing. I even took pictures of it, okay? That's how amazing it was to me. So, I I just, it, I've always loved dragonflies, okay? So, this last time I was in California, um, okay, so I was in California at one time when my mom passed away, okay? My dad, of course, you know how it works. Your stone is, you know, purchased later on. So my dad got this beautiful stone that um, has a picture of my mother and father's wedding uh, picture in the center. And then, of course, it has my mother's name. It has my father's name. Um, of course, the date's not filled in for my father yet. But, um, uh, and then it has Cardinale, which is my, my, uh, last, my last name, Cardinale, which is Italian, guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, so... I went, you know, I hadn't been back to go see my mom's site. Um, I've seen it, you know, a million times in pictures because my brothers, whenever my brother uh, and his wife would go take uh, uh, flowers, they would always send us pictures and stuff and everything, you know, or I'd send money and tell them to get some flowers, you know. 
but I'd never actually seen the actual stone, okay? So I go with one of my girlfriends to go look for the stone. We go to the cemetery and, you know, mind you, when I lived in California, you know, the cemetery, uh, there's like the Catholic side on one side and then there's the normal side on the other side. Well, my mom wasn't Catholic. My mom was Greek Orthodox. So, um, so she was on the other side, of which, you know, my, all my other family is on the other side. Okay. So when we go, we're looking <laughs> and I'm telling you, this is literally finding, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Okay. So we're looking at all these stones and I'm thinking, and I'm like, I'm like, I remember it being in this area, you know, in a certain corner and da, 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 da. So we couldn't find it. We could not find the place. So me and my girlfriend are pulling out and the craziest thing in the world, the craziest thing. And this is what's funny. This is what's really super funny. Okay. So we were going to go eat and the place that we were going to eat at, you know, uh, was closed. And, um, so we ended up passing it up. That's how we ended up at the cemetery. So when we were getting ready to leave, we were going to go, we were going to make a right hand turn. And so as we we're getting ready to make the right hand turn, we were sitting at, you know, sitting at a standstill because there was so much traffic as we were sitting at that standstill. Oh my God. On my girlfriend's, <clears throat> I'm getting choked up. Sorry. On my girlfriend's windshield sitting in the corner on my side was a dragonfly <clears throat> the whole entire time we were sitting there waiting for the traffic to pass this dragonfly just sat there and um sorry guys so it just sat there it didn't move and i pointed it out to her and i was like i mean tears just filled my eyes and i was like oh my god so and then just to make a long story short <clears throat> we made that turn and as we made that turn, and this is one of my favorite restaurants in, in, in this area. It's called Old Max House. And so as we made that turn, it was so crazy because it was just like, you know, so many yards away. Um, this The restaurant was open. So it was like, I don't know if it was my mom, you know, slowing me down to go do that. I don't know. But what's funny is uh, we ended up, we ended up finding out I was in the wrong cemetery. <laughs> So me and my son ended up going back a couple days later and we're, he's even couldn't find the spot. And we called another one of my sons cause I have two sons that actually live in California. So we call another one of my sons and my son ends up telling us where to go. It was so funny. So we finally found it and it was wonderful to be able to, you know, finally find it. But back to my story of Armin. So Armin had made something so precious, so precious. And it had to do with sewing. So I ended up going to uh, Hobby Lobby and picking up some of these. So she had made this really super cute lipstick uh, holder. And instead of doing lipstick, she did everything to look like sewing because her mother uh, must have been an Advit sewer. And so she put this inside the little lipstick case and this looks like a little lipstick, doesn't it? It's so cute. And um, so, and then the top, she put like little spools. Um, and I think I have some spools here. It's so funny because the spools that she used, I have some. So there's little tiny spools. She put it inside of her uh, on top there. You know, it was really cute the way she made it. But guys, this is not lipstick. <laughs> look how cute. It looks just like lipstick, a lipstick bottle. But look how cute. It's a pin cushion. Oh, I died when I saw it. I thought, oh my gosh, how super duper cute is that? So let me show you. Look how cute. She actually had picked up some pins. She actually picked up some pins that um, actually had like little cute little things on the top of them. I guess it doesn't go all the way in. Oh, wait. Well. No, I guess that's as far as it goes. Okay, so I guess if you were, yeah, see, perfect. So you can save your pens in there. And I thought that was so cute because I actually use these pens all the time for my glue. And sometimes I put my, you know, pens down. I mean, my little pin and I always lose my little pin. So I ended up picking this up thinking this would be perfect for my pens. 
but guys, isn't that so cute? So these, I did not get them on sale and I did not get them, um, with a coupon. So I ended up picking up the pink one too, and they were a dollar 99 each. So I'm sorry for my share. I just, that was just, just something I had to share because I'm always mentioning dragonflies and stuff. So I just thought I would share that. Okay. So back to, um, um, last that at that time on Saturday, uh, all this paper studio stuff was 50% off or maybe it was just the punches. I'm not sure. So I ended up picking up this one punch cause I do not have this size. Um, I ended up getting it for a dollar 99. Um, Gloria, who is Crafty Cakes here on YouTube. Hey, Gloria. Gloria loves her swans. Absolutely loves her swans. And so um, seeing all the swans that she shows all the time and all of her crafting. And I noticed, too, Gina um, here on YouTube loves them, too. Hey, Gina. And because um, she just made, um, I just entered her uh, Memory Ducks Challenge. And she had made a beautiful... Um, uh, oh my god, let me think. Um, I want to say Heidi Swap. I know it's not Heidi Swap. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe. Okay, you you know who it is. Um, the one that does. Um, oh my god, I can't think of her name. Maggie Holmes. I'm so sorry. So she made this beautiful Maggie Holmes um, inspired uh, memory decks holder and it has swan in it. And so, you know, just seeing these swans, it's, it's starting to make me really love swans. So I saw these and I thought I couldn't pass them up. So I picked those up and girls and guys, look what I picked up. This faux mermaid um, uh, ribbon. I cannot wait to make bows out of this. Isn't this going to be beautiful? It'll be perfect for all my um, mermaid happy mail that I want to make. So I went ahead and picked that up. At the time, it was not on sale. I believe this past week it was on sale, but at the time I used a 40% off coupon. So I picked that up. Okay. And our store still had a lot of items that were. Um, clearance so I did end up picking up and it's so funny because I think Susan you had this pad too um I picked this up like I said last week so um I didn't get to share it but I was laughing because I was like I was when I was watching your video uh, la uh last night I was like oh, I think or not last night uh yeah it was last night from your Hobby Lobby haul um I was like I think I had that paper pad, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> so I got this one for $4.99 and I don't have it opened. Well, let me, let me open it because it is very, very pretty. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. So you have all these different beautiful flower patterns and I just could not pass this up. I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. So I went ahead and picked this paper pad up. And everybody, I'm sure, is hauling it and seeing it. And, but I just could not pass it up. So I loved it so much, I went ahead and got the bigger, the bigger one of it. And then I couldn't believe when I found this, okay? Because I saw the Magical Adventure um, Echo Park Disney in one of my other or one of my stores that's right next to me and this was not on sale okay so i was excited cuz i was at a different uh, hobby lobby and i found it for 249 they only happened to have one so i got the one um, i've already hauled all the ephemera that goes to this and um, a couple of the um, chipboard pieces so yeah i was excited that was an exciting find I ended up getting this Hooray Baby, which was $2.24, and um, it was just, it was so cute. It was just way too cute. I know um, you can use it for baby, but there's a lot of pieces in here, um, a lot of paper, pa uh, yeah, a lot of papers that um, you can use just for everyday, like cutie pie, you can use that at any time. Um, yes, of course, the safety pins will definitely be for a baby, but look at the air balloons. You can use those for anything. The stripes, um, not the bit sweet baby. You can use those. Look at the hearts, checkers, and look, there's some little woodland animals. Oh, but they're kind of mixed up with giraffes and elephants, so I don't know. 
But yeah, so I thought definitely this would be a really cute pad to use, you know, not just for a baby, but you know, every day. So I went ahead and picked up that pad. Sorry, I'm grabbing stuff right out of boxes, guys. Um, I went ahead and picked up this pad. It was $2.24 also. It's called Pink Lemonade. And uh, like I told you guys, I love color. Love, love, love color. So I went ahead and picked this one up. Look at the lemonade. Oh my God, and the little jars. It was so funny because my aunt had four kids too and um, lived in the country. And before drinking out of jars was popular, they used to have jars that they would drink out of all the time, all different sizes. And I used to think it was the coolest thing in the world, you know? So, um, yeah. And then, so you have your checkered, which reminds me of, you know, the tablecloths. Um, you have some really cute trees. You have hearts. Let me do it this way. You have butterflies that are absolute cute. And this, Susan, this is what reminded me of um, your outdoor party um, little topper that you did because I saw these little lights and this reminded me of it. Okay, and then of course you have your little mobile homes. Those are the little teeny mobile homes from back in the day. And what does that remind you of, guys? Toy Story. Oh my God, can't wait to use that. And um, then you have turtles. And there was a die. Oh, and there's little hedgehogs. There's my son. So it reminds me of my son. Um, and then there's the, there was a die that I saw on AliExpress that was the RC car or RC and then it had Woody and Buzz on it. But you know, I thought about getting it, but I thought, you know what, that's just way too much detail for me. I don't think I could pull it off. So I didn't pick it up. Um, but I did see the aliens and I may get the aliens, but what's crazy is the aliens were one price, but the shipping was so expensive. I couldn't believe it. So I didn't get it. Um, little bikes, which I used to love riding my bike all the time when I was younger. I should, my daughter mentioned about getting our bike, getting back into bike riding. So we just need to get some new tubes, um, and some cute little, uh, sunglasses. And then that looks kind of like a outdoor party kind of, but yeah, I thought that was really super pretty. Okay. So for my Hobby Lobby haul this week, I had hauled this from Tuesday morning. It was $2.99. I ended up taking it back because <laughs> I'm I'm like you know what I spend a lot of money on crafting and I don't like wasting money um, so I went ahead and took it back and just put it towards another purchase but um, I went ahead and picked up this one and I used a 40% off coupon and this one has you know because uh, I ended up picking up some paper pad that was for weddings um, so I went ahead and got this one because I thought I love the happily ever after you guys I love 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 that okay um, I picked up a roll of this uh, gold dotted paper with the, because it looks like, it reminds me of that Tiffany color. Um, and so I went ahead and picked up one of those for each of me and my daughter. And this was uh, marked down to $274. I got some more of this mermaid ribbon that has a beautiful iridescent glow to it. And oh my God, look at this ribbon. There's little tiny hearts, guys. Oh my God, I love this bling ribbon. So I went ahead and picked up one of those. Oh, and sorry. So these were 50% off this past week. So this was um, $2 or $1.99, whatever you wanna, cause that's why they usually give it to you. So this was same thing, $1.99. And then I ended up picking up one more of the mermaid. I did get the 50% off on this one. Um, I also found this faux pink uh, iridescent, so I went ahead and picked up one of those too. I'm going to try that out. I'm the type of person, I try it out first and see if I like it. If I like it, then I'll go buy more. Um, I ended up, because I heard uh, some of the some of our YouTube friends here on YouTube uh, mention that they have left-handed scissors. What's crazy? Okay, this is going to be sound so crazy, okay? I am left-handed, but I do not use left-handed scissors. Um, and I'm also, it's funny too, I also throw right-handed. <laughs> so I cut left, right-handed, I eat uh, right-handed, and I throw left, right-handed. It's so funny. And, um, but yeah, I write 
left-handed. So I went ahead and picked up these because people were saying that they work just as well right-handed or left-handed. And I, 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 I don't understand the difference either. So I went ahead and got these. Um, these were $3.24. And then on YouTube recently, I noticed that, um, um, oh my gosh, Scrap Divas, um, Erica had, had started making some tassels. And, um, so I had seen another young lady, I can't remember her channel right now, forgive me, but I will, I, when I make these, I will go ahead and put her description and thank her, um, for for um because i usually look it up ahead of time but i forgot i had purchased these but i had asked her if she was going to do um an actual tutorial on how to make tassels and she says she was so i had already picked these up so i was excited i haven't had a chance to look to see if she actually made the tutorial yet but i did pick up like i said i love the bright colors so i went ahead and picked these up to make some tassels so yeah and I believe that is the my whole uh, Hobby Lobby haul. And I will see you next um, on my Tuesday morning haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave um, you know your questions down below. And like I had mentioned before in the past, it you know I do a raw video, so if there's anything that I see or notice that you know, I think it's worth mentioning. I will put it down in the description, my correction. So, you know, just check my description to see if there's any kind of, I call them goof ups. But if you see any goof ups, just kind of look in there. Because um, I do, I might mention somebody's name wrong. I might mention the wrong product or whatever. So I try my hardest to clarify to get to the right, you know, to give you the right information. So you can always check down there. Okay, thank you again for letting me talk in, um, uh, earlier. I'm sorry if I brought anyone down. I didn't mean to. It was just, it's kind of my happy thought. But I just thought I'd mention that. But um, I love y'all, and I want to say thank you again for watching, and I will see you on my next uh, Tuesday morning haul. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.